OK YouTubers, this is Joe from Artelian TV, another quick game of Interplanetary Ice Spy going on here. Back to Mars, back in Gale Crater, and we're going over an old image here, which was brought to my attention by another researcher. Uh, and this is going right back to Sol 1110, which was taken quite a long time ago. And we have this lovely bit of smooth sand here, a little sand dune and a pile of rocks here, and what looks like, just here, a little bird sat on the rock. <laughs> now, I'm not saying this is necessarily a bird or a rock, but that's for you to decide. Um, I'm sort of 50-50 on this one. It does, when you zoom in, look like a bird. Uh, but before we start, I will give credit to Martin Graney, who put, posted this on this Facebook group just the other day. Um, and here we have her post here. What do you get when you cross a chicken with a Martian? An extraterrestrial. Right, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, right, great. And um, there we have it. Uh, here's the raw image there in the background. Here's a little clip of it, and there's an, a, a close-up. And it does look like a bird. Uh, it doesn't mean it is a bird, but I don't see why it shouldn't be, especially when you have other ones that other people have found, like this one that I found, which is an eagle, um, an eagle skull or something similar. This one I found back in 2015. Mars Eagle Skull, Carl and Debbie. There's some interesting stuff in this image. I'll play a little bit of that now. Okay, if it would let me. It should enhance now, there we go. Now, this is a very low quality image, as a lot of these are, and it's also very small. This is only a few inches long. Um, and it's a very blurry, out of focus image, but it is there, and it has a beak and a big eye socket there very much like some birds we have on Earth, much like this, which is an eagle. Okay? There's a picture I did of a bald eagle um, many years ago. I have, as well as doing sculpture and, and painting portraits, I used to do wildlife pictures and fancy art as well. Kind of record covers, that kind of thing. CD covers. Um, so, it does look like there were birds on Mars. Um, the question is, how long ago and were they all wiped out at the same time as the Mars civilization? Yes, they probably were, but we don't really know if there, if there are any, any left. I mean, there could well be in some parts of Mars. Uh, who knows? Don't know yet. We haven't really looked at Mars enough to determine either way and rule anything out. And, you should, and when exploring other planets, you should never rule anything out. Because if you do, you may miss something extremely important that could be a threat to your civilization and perhaps a real danger. So you have to keep an open mind with these things. There's also this thing which uh, I think um, someone else found also. Uh, Mars decoy duck. Now I think this was found by Terry Burnett actually. I'll, I'll play a little bit of that. Now this, this doesn't look like an actual bird. This looks like a carving of a bird or some kind of um, little statuette or figurine or something. It, I've called it a decoy duck because that's what it looks like. It may not be, of course. But this is interesting because it's got some interesting details here and has a, a nice shape to it and a neck, really nice curve to the neck and a pointed beak there. If that's what it is, it may not be, of course. could be something else. Other people have interpreted this as a different thing altogether. Uh, they may, be, may well be right. Um, don't know. Uh, but it's, there is no harm in speculation, of course. Uh, let's play that through a little bit. I mean, you can check all these out on my playlist, Mars Birds Top 10. And uh, there are quite a few bird specimens on this playlist. Um, so that play through a little bit. There's Terry Burnett's uh, original post. That was on Mars X Files, also on Facebook. Facebook's actually becoming a really good place for researchers now for sharing material. And uh, this is a very good example of that. And he's done actually a really good enhancement of it there. Spotted by Terry Burnett uh, back in February of this year. And it, he's actually really darkened it up. And you can see like an eye here and some interesting details. I mean, this may be something completely different. We don't know. There could be something sat on top of this with arms sticking out. I don't know. But interesting either way. And there was the eagle. So do check out this playlist. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of it now because I don't want to take all day, but there are quite a lot of specimens here. Some of them are very large indeed, and some of them are very small indeed. So it looks like there are a whole plethora 
of, of bird species on Mars. Some of them were giant, probably flightless, almost like dinosaurs, and some were small flight, flight birds, uh, flying birds, um, much like we have down here. Uh, but most of the specimens I've found so far, unlike this one, are very small. But this here looks like a, a foot of either a, a flightless bird or a dinosaur. And this goes back to 1296, this uh, sole here. I'll play a little bit of that. This was really clear because it's right in front of the, the rover and takes up almost the entire image. So this is a really good high quality image. And you can see here, fossilized bones here, coming along here, and some toe bones here. Okay, now a lot of this is missing and broken off, but this really does look like uh, a, a fossilized bird foot or perhaps a dinosaur. I uh, couldn't tell you which. Um, let's let that play through a little bit because this is really cool. And uh, pay attention particularly to this part. These are bones, these are fossilized bones. Any of you that have ever been fossil hunting, like I used to go when I was a kid, will know what to look for. And often these things are, are broken or only partial specimens. Uh, this is no, no exception to that. Here's a close-up. This is an interesting find, this one. Let's turn the volume down on that there a minute. Okay. There we are. Here's the enhancement. You can see the different bones here. Different toe bones and, and what would have been a, a, a nail or, or claw on the end. So, I mean, this could be, well be a dinosaur bone, um, who knows? But uh, as we have found out on Earth, birds and dinosaurs are quite similar and are probably related. And we have it. So that was interesting. So do check some of these out. There's also some other bones here, if you, if you look carefully, just here, which have separated. There we are, there's the highlight. We've even got the... Uh, the claw on the end, and that's just a comparison to uh, some on Earth. And here's obviously uh, another one. This is a, a Velociraptor um, foot there, like a T-Rex type dinosaur. And here's another different type. You can see how the bones uh, join up together here. We should get a final comparison coming up. Okay, well that'll do. Don't want to spend too long on this. Right, so let's have a look at the enhancements I've got. And then I'll show you where to look for it on the Gigapan. And, and there will be links to all these images and Gigapans on the description, in the description below the video, okay? Uh, right, let's go to the folder and have a look. Let's have a look at the clips first, because that will actually show it in context. There we are, just here. And uh, as I said, this may well be just a rock that kind of looks a bit like a bird. Okay, there's her clip there, which is really cool. And she's got all the information about the image in, in the image here. Okay, here's a, a close-up. Let's, let's go to a closer one here. And obviously I didn't want to get any closer than this because it really does just break up. The image gets too pixelated. But luckily... There is enough detail to work out something here, and it does look like a head with an eye and a, a black beak pointing down there, and a sort of white cheek. Now, many birds do have white cheeks, <laughs> or pale pink or grey sort of cheeks on them. Uh, my family used to keep lots of, well, and still do actually keep many birds, especially parrots and parakeets, and they have quite... Uh, a lack of feathers just below the eye and then they have more feathers on the back obviously now unfortunately the image isn't good enough to tell either way whether this is actually a bird or not because that it's too far off and quite small this is only two or three inches long I'd say only a few inches across and uh, it's hard to say whether that is and it kind of looks better from this sort of distance here it looks a little bit clearer and I've really brightened that really hard and you can see like a little eye and a beak and a cheek there and a, and a head and possible feathers here. Now, it, this may be a bird that's trying to blend in and, and look like a rock and may have feathers and patterns on the feathers that, that, that mimic the, the very surroundings like many birds do on Earth. So yes, it, could it be a bird? 
yes, but could it be a living bird? Probably not. This may be another example of, a, of a, an encrusted or, or mummified creature on the surface. I have found what they're like, lizards and other creatures as well, and other people have, and uh, many skulls and fossils. So it is possible, but I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not going to say this is for definite, because I can't possibly prove it is. But worth a look anyway, and worth comparing to some of the other birds that have been found, and other anomalies. Now, we've got the gigapan here. Uh, I've got a few gigapans up here. Here it is. This is uh, MSL 1110, led by Neville Thompson. And this is in a sort of black and white version, uh, which is actually pretty clear. Uh, you can see it pretty clearly. Let me zoom out and let you know where to look. It's near the bottom, towards the left of the image here, okay? Just here. Let me zoom right out just so you can get an idea where where to look. There we are. So we go right up here. There it is. And it's on that ridge. Got this ridge along here. And there are some other interesting things in this gigapan that look kind of half buried like this thing here. And there's like a, a straight piece there. Uh, my graphics card is struggling just a bit here. Let me shut down some of these. Uh, because it's not working. <laughs> I can only have so much up at one time. There we are, that's a bit smoother now. So there we are, you know where to find that. There's also this thing which I published uh, a while back, which looks kind of like a, a lizard skull or something or something here with teeth. It doesn't look like much there. I'll put a clip at the end of the video of that and show you the close-up of it that I've got. Um, but there, that's right just above where we're looking. That, there's the little bird thing there and you follow this ridge of sand and, the, and then there's other things up here. And there are other things also, like this weird thing. Uh, I think a number of people published this on uh, Facebook and other places, um, and probably YouTube as well. There's this weird structure sticking up here with this weird thing here. Now, this looks like a bit like an optical illusion. We've got a heavy shadow on some of these things, and they look really odd. But this kind of looks like this is sticking out here, and this is like the edge of it but it's really hard to make out what's behind and what's not behind here. Uh, even when you zoom back, some of these things tend to blend together and are difficult to work out on which plane they are, whether they're in front or behind. So you do get some strange kind of optical illusions, or I call them um, op optical rock illusions, because you get very confused, when, especially when you zoom into some of these things, about w what you're actually seeing. But this is a very cool gigapan, this, and I really like it. It's, it is really clear. Um, even though it's not in colour, full colour, it's actually really good. And uh, there's hardly any distortion in it. So if you're going to find anything interesting, you will find something in here, if there is any anything else to find, and I'm sure there is. Um, so do have a look at it. There's lots and lots of weird stuff in here, and 99.9% .9 of it is just rocks, I'm sure, but it looks like there's bits of coral and possible petrified wood and other strange things, like this little bird-shaped anomaly here. <laughs> so yes, is it a rock? Is it a bird? Is it a bird that looks like a rock? Because some birds do try and look like rocks. It's just a way of um, camouflaging themselves against predators. It, has it been kind of uh, solidified and encrusted on in, in this area, covered in, in mud or something, and then mud's kind of cracked away, and, and it's, we're left with this kind of fossil sticking out? It is possible. There are lots of fossils on Mars, and uh, they, uh, NASA do keep telling us that, oh, there, there was water there a million years ago, or whatever, or millions of years ago. And of course, if there was water there, there would have been life there, probably. And the only real dispute I have with that is that there was water and still is water on Mars and it's still liquid in some places at certain times of year near the melt zones and the, the polar regions in the summer when it melts. So there probably is life. There are plants on Mars, which I have shown, and there are many, many, many different specimens of humanoids, animals, birds, lizards, all sorts of creatures, all which can be seen on my channel. So and other people's as well, not just mine. It's not just me making this up. This is a, a, now a consensus among researchers. And uh, 
if you don't want to believe that, that's fine. But uh, what we have to do is look at the evidence, and there are plenty of specimens of lizards and other things, and, and even humanoid skulls that have been shown, especially by me, in recent years. So there we have it. Uh, I'll put some more clips of that in at the end and show you some more close-ups of it, and perhaps a, a, a comparative image as well. So full credit to Martine on that. Brilliant job as usual. She really does come up with some of the best anomalies on Mars. A uh, very dedicated researcher and uh, really cool. So thank you to her for finding this and pointing, pointing it out to me. And there we have it. So links will be below for all these different gigapans and stuff. And you can have a really a real good look around and see if you can find anything else in here. Because this was a cool one, nice and clear. Just because it's not in full colour doesn't mean it's not good. Okay? So thank you for watching everybody. I will see you soon.